What's up, y'all? Today I'm talking about the relationship agreement I have with my girlfriend. Yes, it's not officially a business topic, but it is an agreement, so I'm gonna give it credit as a business thing. I saw this in a New York Times article, uh, we'll have it somewhere below in the links, where the writer was talking about how she signed on the dotted line. And it was just an agreement she had with her boyfriend. And it started making me think about like, why don't we have agreements with our significant others? And so my girlfriend and I put together the agreement and I'm gonna give it away in the templates uh, in the description for free, you can get the template. And so I'm actually gonna walk you through it for if you wanna set it up with your people you work with, you probably should have agreements with people you work with. But also I found that when I've started mentioning this to people that I have a relationship agreement, people get really just like, what? Okay, you're weirdo now. And I'm like, yes, I know. But it just actually put us on the same page. I was surprised some of the requests that she had and a lot of the things that I needed and it just made expectations super clear. And so far, it seems like things are going pretty great in the relationship and we actually reference this a lot. So what we do, you're gonna put your names, first and second name, uh, and then reasons for being with the person. And this is just like a fun, like this is an open-ended section. So why are you with them? And she wrote some really sweet things about me. I was like, damn. And I felt really special that she wrote that. And and that's just like kind of like, a, that'll warm you guys up. Uh, what you're gonna do is how will we be great friends to each other? And I think a lot of this stuff you guys already have talked about. You said, well, I like this and I like that and I like that, but you haven't actually put it down to be crystal clear about what each person actually needs. So how will you be great friends? All right, step up, number two. Visitation weekly date nights. Is this a priority? What do we find both fun and interesting? So what is a weekly date night or visitation? So my girlfriend actually doesn't live with me. She lives way up north in Austin. Up north is like 10 minutes north, by the way. Uh, and I was like, all right, I need to come there more often. And I didn't even realize that until we did this agreement where I don't go up there at all because I think it's kind of far. But she's like, I need you to try to make an effort at least once a week to come to my place. And I was like, that's totally reasonable. Uh, and then on my side, I said, hey, I want you to come all the other times to my place. But it was more that we put it down on paper what we both wanted uh, for visitation. And then we do like to have a weekly date night on Sunday. We'll cook dinner or go out with friends and have a dinner together. And then what other kind of activities we want to be doing. Personal development goals and priorities. So she has some things in her profession. She's a nurse that she wants to be doing. And I have my own personal development goals. And so this is also individually, but also as a couple, what things do you want to be working on? All right, now it's going to get a little more, a little more frisky. Trips. Uh, what kind of trips do you guys want to be doing? So, you know, she's from Vietnam. And so it's like, are we going to go to Vietnam? Are there any other places we want to be going? Are there things that we want to be doing? So that you can actually get it down on paper. Sex. So this is, uh, this is, why is having sex so, so, such like a big deal? You know, what kind of sex do you like? How often do you need it? And this is something that is actually really helpful for a lot of people where you're having sex once a week, but the agreement says you get twice a week. It's not to say like, hey, look, you have this agreement. You better go give me that sex. I'm owed this sex. No, it's about these are my expectations. What are yours? Let's agree on what that is in the middle or somewhere around there. And then you guys can move forward with that instead of kind of having ambiguity or uncertainty and then getting upset with one another. All right. Monogamy. Uh, this is something that we've talked a lot about where I think, you know, relationships are evolving. And I have never seen a polyamorous. That's the people who fuck a bunch of different people work out. And maybe if you've seen it, leave me in the comments. Let me know who that is, because I'd love to do a documentary or podcast with them. But monogamy is basically like, yo, no fucking anybody else straight up. And I think sometimes there could be unclarity. Unclarity? Is that a real word? And it's like, hey, if I'm traveling, can I have a blowjob? The answer is no. Uh, <laughs> if uh, like if the celebrity comes by, can I sleep with, I don't know, Matt Damon? Why is that my first thought? No. So the, the thing is that just get on the same page with that. Future, family, careers. This is interesting stuff. So if they if you guys have kids together, does the husband stay at home? Do you stay at home? How long do you stay at home? How many kids do you actually want? Who should be paying for different things? So what does the future of your family, of your jobs, where you actually want to be living? Do you think you'll stay where you are? Like we're living in Austin, Texas. There's a chance that both of us want to live potentially in Los Angeles next year for a little bit of time. And so it's like, what is that future look like for you and your significant other? All right, marriage notes. All right, so marriage notes. This is where it's like, you know, straight up, if you guys are getting married, where are you getting married? So the girl I'm seeing and likely to marry, her family is from Boston. So there's a chance that we'll have something in Boston. Potentially we'll do a tea ceremony. And so I think it's just getting a lot of clarity, like where do you want your honeymoon to be? And I don't mean, I think sometimes as I'm talking about this agreement, I'm not trying to take the fun out of all relationships. Like, God, no, you make every relationship suck. It has nothing to do with that. It's more of just like, hey, here's what my expectations are. Here's yours. Let's get on the same page. So there's nothing like you don't get arguments about over things. And it actually makes you have a better relationship because you have clarity about what you both want. Here's actually the, one of the most important things is uh, at the end, you want to put when you're doing this and put it in your calendar to revisit it. Uh, it's up to you on the frequency. We're doing it every three months, but it could be something every six months, every year. And I've actually really enjoyed it. We definitely both have referenced like, hey, you need to come up more. And I do now because I'm like, oh, this is part of our agreement. 
talked about some of the sexual things that both of us need. Uh, and overall, it just made us a, a happier, healthier relationship. So try it out yourself. Let me know what you think in the comments. Or if you have any other things we should add to it, feel free to let me know. Enjoy.